Okay, today is Saturday, November 17th. I'm at the Fancho's Design. What, what's the proper name of it? Resource and Design. Res Resource and no, Design. Re yeah, resource and Design. <laughs> okay, and I'm here with, can you introduce yourself? Margie Fur. And the Dennis, owner? Dennis Rowden. And he's been so kind to offer me the ability to listen to the history of this place, which is amazing. So, go ahead. So, this opening was the, an opening that came from outside, and we left this here. This room that we're standing in right now, uh, during, during the 60s, 70s, and 80s, this room had been used as a maintenance lunch room. It was on a slope. People had to eat on an angle. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that was a, that was a doorway. And what we did was we filled doorway. this room in with sand and dirt. And we used uh, a flooring called Autokeen from San Miguel de Allende. And um, so we made this one of our rooms. This doorway, we took an old door down that was completely destroyed. And this was the feed room. Same scenario. And you can see the old walls. Uh, these, these walls are part of the original. Uh, we would have to say they go back in time. Um, but we've got the same floor situation. We closed this off. We closed this off because it just kept going. It was an outdoor area for uh, stacking hay and stuff like that. Um, and then again, the ceiling. You could take a picture of that. See if you can get walk it over there. Soto Crossing. This is uh, the original, the original uh, roof that has been that was put in after the flat roof was taken off. The best of our knowledge. <laughs> so what this is pointing towards is a, uh -huh. a handwritten says Teofilo Otero Soto Crossing. Teofilo Otero being the last Otero family owner of this property. Yeah. So this was a. We tore this out so we could go through here. This was a window. Um, obviously, this was a window. And uh, so it goes into the original building. But uh, yeah, the rest of the place, I don't have a clue when this concrete was poured. I have no idea. But it, we know it's real old because it is really hard. And then we added the floor after the stall space because it was angled and went down to the center. Can you and, share a little uh, bit about the stalls? What you know about the stalls that were... What there was was just some pieces of steel where they had where they could connect to the floor. Um, but it was not... There were no stalls here when we took it, the building over. It was um, the roof was destroyed, the walls were deteriorating. Um, it was not usable for people. Had no electricity, obviously no air conditioning. The doors and windows were gone. It did have the regular roll door that was at the main entrance. Uh, that was a big door. I used it somewhere and I can't remember. But uh, we beefed up all the trusses and everything and, and brought it up to uh, code so we could uh, have people in here and uh, added the electricity, air conditioning, bathrooms. Um, but again, this floor was a regular <laughs> barn floor because it all went to the center so they could hose it down and sweep it out. Um, I don't know how old that window is up there, but I it 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 was made with plastic <laughs> instead of glass. But um, you're referring to the top window. Uh huh. And that was also a slider, and so was this opening over here. It was a slider. So you had one at every end except for this side over here, which had all these were windows to go outside. All these niches that I have here. Mm -hmm. So we enclosed those so we could keep the building. And then we replaced these with cedar because the original windows that were in here were cedar. 
That's what they used at the time. Um, all the walls had been redone um, with a surface coating of uh, a stucco form that they used back in the 17 and 1800s. Uh, so we brought it back original on that. And uh, as when they added the, the roof, you can see all the adobes up there. Everything lower was all stuccoed. So like up there, you can see where the water ran through the ceiling and came down. Mm -hmm. Would you mind sharing a little bit about how you got the property, how you came I to be here? I worked with the owners, uh, the Allreds, and uh, the architect, uh, Leo Miller, and uh, I just did all the interiors for stuff, and then this was the last building to be chosen for something they didn't know what to do and I had done all the interiors of all the hotel rooms and restaurants and chapel and the whole place and the owner said gee you should have a store I said no I'm too old for this but <laughs> here I am 15 years later and um, it's been a it's so fun to be in a place that's got so much history and it's so old and as far as I know it's one of the oldest working buildings around Wow. And uh, that's kind of exciting. So Probably one of the oldest working buildings in Arizona. I, <laughs> I think it is, but I don't know that for sure, but right. I think so. Just the missions, I think, are older than this. Right, exactly. So, well, and, and, and also give yourself credit for planting of the, the landscape. Talk to, talk to well, me about yeah, that. Well, yeah, I did, did all the landscaping for the entire country club when they brought it all back together in 15, 16, 17, 18 years ago. Um, Planted all the big trees, all the big palms, all the stuff to give it the foliage, and I don't know. It was a great time. Thank so you I was so very much. fortunate to get chosen to do this. So, uh, and I, I thank you so much for spending, gosh, most of your afternoon here with me, well, walking around and talking about history. And yeah, I appreciate it. It's and, fun. And thank you for pointing out the two living pear trees, pear trees. that still exist. Back Absolutely. Uh, who must One be of the few things I yeah. didn't plant. And that's a whole other story that I'll be writing about. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome.